Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 Ultimate Team game. Before the game, a lineup update. Check out the beast we added. Team of the Year Russell Wilson, Team of the Year Mike Upati, Legendary Isaac Bruce, and Legendary Larry Allen. And of course, we have Le'Veon Bell and Marshall Falk coming out the backfield. So the offense the so side of the ball definitely got beefed up. Defense, nothing really changed besides the fact that we got Joey Porter, who actually just made the tackle on that play. So he's immediately getting his hands on the ball. He's He's going deep on second down with Stafford, but it's picked off by Charles Woodson. He tried to go deep for Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward's not really the receiver you want to be trying to jump balls with, and that ends up being a pick turnover, and now we have the ball getting a first down the last play, getting a first down on this play with Marshall Falk. New set of downs once again looking for Falk. You guys saw Le'Veon Bell was starting, but we actually started Marshall Falk for the most part of this game. Just because Marshall Falk is just a jack of all trades. I kind of just prefer him because he's a faster guy, and he can do everything. Go run up the trenches, go outside, of course catch the ball third down and eight Isaac Bruce 99 route running on that crisp crisp out route as that screen pass gets blown up which is actually a good break for us second down running the ball one more time on second down to that right side but this time it goes nowhere that's night train lane breaking it up third down and 10 here comes the pressure and Wilson goes down forcing the punt we were in field goal range and we lost that field position on that sack he only sent three so I figured I had some time to just sit back and chill but that was definitely not the case as he's also got Marshall Falk out the backfield and Falk getting a first down for him and you guys see how good Falk is on both sides of the ball as he's going deep but once again Charles Woodson making plays defense looking alive so far second down he's looking to go deep pressure in his face and he throws it in a heave of traffic for I believe Tavon Austin not the smartest throw right there but it's not picked off and on third down he finds Heinz Ward for the first time I believe he had Heinz Ward at the tight end position and now is Marshall Falk going nowhere Brandon Marshall stuffs that one the middle line Linebacker Brandon Marshall. This is the wide receiver Brandon Marshall. A little bit of lag hit right there. And that's Brandon Marshall getting a first down on the drag route. Nice yards after the catch. You wouldn't think Marshall's that kind of guy, but he can definitely pick up some extra yards after he catches it. Of course, so can Marshall Falk when he's that wide open. As he takes the ball to the red zone, finds Falk out the backfield one more time. And Falk gets a gain of about three as we head to the two minute warning. Big goal line standing coming. If we can get it. And that's Lawrence Taylor busting up Matt Stafford, bringing up third down. And he throws it under pressure. And was almost picked off he ends up settling for the field goal and that was definitely I feel like it was a good defensive series by our guys you know we're definitely in position a lot of times and we did get the red zone stand now the offense is what has to get going we definitely have time to work a little under two minutes to go rerouting Marcel Reese that time we got time with the three-man pass rush and that time Marcel Reese got out of bounds at the 30 yard line next play looking to go deep nothing really open so we're just gonna throw it the ward over I believe Aaron Lynch right there and we end up getting the catch second down and two speaking of over that was way over Marshall Fox head bring up a pretty critical third down right here and one more time running into the right side and Marshall Flock continues to eat up whenever we give him the ball he takes it past midfield with under a minute to go Russell Wilson on the carry but Wilson is not able to go anywhere on that one second down here comes the immediate pressure this guy was one of those people that sent those random four-man blitzes that come in ASAP and right there it did third down can't get the first fourth and five at the 43 going for it and here comes the immediate pressure once again not even time to blink on that one and we end up turning it over on downs next play for him he throws it and what a catch by Ward over Ronnie Law and a great throw by Stafford that puts him in field goal range but Zadarius Smith is basically going to end this half as he runs the ball with Marshall Falk and basically really forced him to play a conservative plan for the rest of the first half and only one timeout he just ran it takes his field goal and we're down six I'm kind of indifferent about it because the good news is we get ball coming in half the bad news is I feel like we've played a little bit decent at least at least get that field goal on that one drive when we got knocked out but you know we have a chance to knock it all away by getting a touchdown we get a touchdown we get the lead pretty simple math you know you don't got to do any equations you just find the open man you take what he's giving you right now he sends blitzes we attack and of course you know we try to run wide receiver screen but that goes nowhere Lamar Woodley blows it up second down and 15 looking to take a shot downfield Isaac Bruce with the catch and Isaac Bruce is having a great debut for the team as is Russell Wilson 9 for 12 passing trying to make it 10 for 13 but that one is incomplete second down Marshall Falk one more time running the ball almost getting the first down a very manageable third down and three one more time a screen pass this is Heinz Ward on the catch and Ward trying to fight but doesn't get the first down near the end of the third quarter we are going for 
for it and we're pitching it and Marshall Falk is getting it and not only getting it but taking it all the way to the four yard line this is pretty much four down territory but that doesn't matter on first down JJ Watt gives us the lead easy touchdown there for him just follow the blocks and make your way in the end zone big man as he runs the ball on first down with Falk but he's going nowhere we have his run actually that might have been CJ Spiller right there we have his run game boxed up the passing game is boxed up third down where is he gonna go we're covering the corners right now he's looking in the middle of the field nothing open throwing and picked off Ronnie Lott on the pick and Ronnie Lott on the return Pushed out of bounds by Stafford, but he pushes him out of bounds in field goal range. And in field goal range, easy way to cash in for us. And look at Marcel Reese playing like a beast. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter in a goal-to-go -go situation. Throwing to Cooper, and Cooper gets the catch to the three-yard line. This is a big sequence right here. A field goal does make it a touchdown game, but we want the touchdown right here to get us the full eight-point lead. Third down and goal. That is Ndamukong Sue with the rushing touchdown. Rush touchdown by Nadamakin Sue and JJ Watt have us up eight points now the defense needs one more big stand because he needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion right here with under three minutes to go you gotta think everything's four down territory right here he comes out in vert he's looking looking throwing wide open man but Stafford under pressure can't hit Falk across the body and now third down and seven Stafford's got time to wait wait reroute 230 left he gets the first down the Heinz Ward Nice reroute by him right there, staying calm in the pocket. He's trying to continue to go to this run game, but it is not going anywhere. Our linebackers are all over his runs, and now on second down, after the two-minute warning, he lobs it deep, and it's over to home. Might have been picked off if it was on target, and now third down, 13. Very precarious position by him. He has to call a timeout because he didn't like what he saw. He comes out, Stafford's got time again, and Stafford's got the first down. Heinz Ward continuing to make big catches left and right, finding open seams in the defense. First down and 10, Stafford using his mobility, buying time, waiting, waiting, throwing open man, but Stafford again under pressure, overthrows Marshall Farr for what would have been a huge game minute 20 left middle of the field dropped by Michael Irvin once again third down on this drive he has been pinpoint accurate on third down once again all the time in the world downfield Tavon Austin into the end zone for the touchdown but he does need the two-point conversion now to tie this game up here we go he comes out three receivers looking looking time one more time throwing got it that's the two-point conversion back at the end zone with the catch and now with a minute 11 left we're gonna set ourselves up for a game winning drive JJ Watt to the 22 yard line on the kicker turn it's Either we win the game or we send it to overtime on this possession. Marshall Falk breaking tackles and getting to the 30-yard line. Going to try to kill a little bit of clock. Get this first down right here. It's huge. We get it all the way to about the 37-yard line. That clock continues to take, so we call our first timeout. We don't want to, you know, leave him any time in case we don't get this first down. You guys see a little bit of lag. We're going to run the ball one more time, but this is going to cost us because Falk goes nowhere. Only a gain of three. That clock continues to run. 22 seconds left. About 20 yards out of field goal range. Coming out passing. Three-man pass rush. Wilson taking off the pocket, and Wilson fumbles the ball. It's picked up. It's Kinkley. Kinkley's ahead in the pack. Kinkley, the 20, the 10, sideways, killing clock. Luke Kinkley for the lead. Russell. Wilson chokes it away and Luke Kinkley in the end zone gives him a seven point lead with just six seconds left we're gonna need a damn near miracle and now this is going to be the last play of the game barring a penalty throwing a curl but it's the hooky ladder it's Amari Cooper on the catch Amari Cooper trying to make magic but is brought down in the backfield and that is the game a tough one to lose. We lost off basically a fumble taking back for a touchdown. You don't see that every day. Well, I mean, that's just the way the cookie crumbles in Madden sometimes. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 16 Ultimate Team games. This guy was actually a... Um a Twitch streamer that I played, RonFX77. So, you guys want to check out his Twitch stream? Um, definitely go ahead. And I'll catch you guys next time.